Hello everybody, welcome to the All Day Football Show. I'm your host, as always, Jackson Kellogg, and today I've got you week 11 NFL analysis, got you power rankings, game picks, and keys to a Patriots victory tonight on Thursday Night Football. Jumping right into it, these were the power rankings from last week. We had a lot of move movement with a bunch of teams moving up very high. Going from the Titans coming into second after a lot Arizona moved back into the first spot. We even got the Patriots jumping into the top 10. This week, a lot of teams moving down. We have the Titans taking the top spot after Cardinals loss last week. Blowout by the Carolina Panthers. Though the Cardinals didn't have Kyler Murray, so they don't drop too far. Still a loss, but Titans take the top spot. The Titans are on pace to break the record for most players to play in a game they have over 70 so far. So Titans getting it done with a lot of players. Mike Vrabel on pace for coach of the year, in my opinion. Green Bay Packers move up a couple spots after a shutout win over the Seattle Seahawks. They more move up just because a lot of top 10 teams lost this past week. We have Bills moving up into the top three. Blowout win over the Jets. Cardinals drop to the fourth spot. Buccaneers drop two spots after a loss to Washington. Cowboys move up two spots after a blowout win over the Falcons. The Patriots move up two spots after a blowout win over the Browns. The Rams drop four after a loss to the 49ers. 49ers just showed the blueprint to beat the Rams, and it's to run the ball. So that's how the Rams are going to get stopped this year. We've got the Ravens. Dropping down all the way to the number 9 spot after a loss on Thursday Night Football last week to the Miami Dolphins. And we have Kansas City taking the Chargers spot this week in the number 10 after as the Chargers lost to the Vikings 27-20. And the Chiefs had a blowout victory over the Raiders on Monday Night Football. So, going into game picks for this week. Last week was bad. A lot of upsets. Dropped us down to 7, 6, and 1. The one stupid tie by the Lions and Steelers. Puts the overall record at 87, 60, and 1. I'm going to hate saying that for the whole rest of the season. But going into picks tonight. Tonight on Thursday Night Football, I've got the Patriots winning over the Falcons. We'll get more onto that in a sec. Staying in the interconference matchups. I've got the Ravens beating the Bears on the road. Browns winning at home against the Lions. 49ers winning on the road against the Jaguars, and the Chiefs winning at home against the Cowboys. Moving over into the NFC matchups, we've got the Saints winning on the road against the Eagles, Washington getting a win on the road against the Panthers, Vikings taking the upset victory over the Packers, we've got the Cardinals beating the Seahawks on the road, and the Buccaneers winning against the Giants on Monday Night Football. Then moving over into the AFC We've got the Bills taking a win over the Colts, the Dolphins beating division rival and fellow trash bin Jets. We've got the Titans beating the Texans at home, the Bengals beating the Raiders on the road, and the Chargers beating the Steelers at home. The Patriots dominated the Browns last week. The Browns scored on their first offensive drive of the game, and then the Patriots scored 45 unanswered. So it was a blowout victory. A lot of good things to take away from it. Jacoby Myers got his first touchdown in his career, or first career receiving touchdown in garbage time, but he still got it. Ramondre Stevenson, Damien Harris was out, so Ramondre Stevenson took most of the carries. On 20 carries, ran for 100 yards and two touchdowns. It was a great showing for the rookie running back. All around great play by the team last week. At, this makes this game very simple to decide tonight against the Falcons. The Falcons are not that great of a team right now, so right now it's just going to be surviving the trap game. You know, everybody's talking 28-3, 28-3. I'm hoping the reverse doesn't happen here, so don't fall for the trap game. Get a good win tonight, and that comes with no turnovers on the offensive side of the ball. Just limit the turnovers. Play conservative if you have to. Run the ball. The Falcons are not a tough opponent. Just don't overthink it. And then offensively, it's going to be limiting Kyle Pitts. They don't have Calvin Ridley. They don't have Cordell Patterson. That means their top receiver is Russell Gage, and their top threat is Kyle Pitts. So 
it's going to be limiting Kyle Pitts, making sure that he's covered underneath, over the top, and that shuts down the whole Falcons offense as they're not going to have much to stop it. Very simple uh, matchup for this week for the Patriots. Just a matter of they're coming off of it. They're coming into a short week as they played on Sunday, and it's going to be a matter of not falling into the trap and getting a win here and can, keeping the win streak alive. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. It would be greatly appreciated. Hope you all enjoy your Patriots Thursday night football game. And I'll see you all next week. Peace.